it's not too bad in there, but it's pretty rusty. Definitely needs restoring. So that's what we're going to be working on. Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to restore a gas tank and get the rust out from the inside of it. All you need is your gas tank off the bike or whatever it's from, a wire brush, some sandpaper, uh, paper towels would be good, some nuts and bolts or BBs, what I'm going to be using, and some water. Let's get started. This is what the inside of the gas tank looks like. It's very coated in rust but it's not too bad where we shouldn't be able to fix it. All right, so you got your gas tank off the motorcycle. This is off my SR250 Broped project. I'll post another video of how I got this gas tank off. It's not too hard, but I figure, you know, for some of you guys that are just starting out on restorations, it might be a good thing to see. So I'll post that video. Um, I just showed you guys what the inside of the tank looks like. It was pretty bad. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm gonna go over what I think is the easiest and most practical. Uh, first thing you wanna do is just start off with some 220 grit sandpaper and just kind of clean up the ends um, just to get rid of some of that inside rust right around the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. All right, once you get that cleaned up a little bit, um, I'm gonna be using BBs. Some people use sand or rocks or even uh, like nuts and bolts. They all work really well, they work about the same, but I feel that BBs are the easiest uh, just because if you use sand, sometimes it can be really hard to get all that sand out of the gas tank. And the main Basically what we're doing here is we're going to add something abrasive with water or vinegar if you wanted to use vinegar. You're going to pour it all into the gas tank and then just shake it like crazy. And basically what you're doing is kind of a bead blasting the inside to get rid of all the rust. So we'll start by pouring our BBs in. Oh, and before you do that, if you have any holes, you want to make sure you cover those up. Um, what I did here was I just got some earplugs in there to plug the holes. Um, or you can use tape, whatever's easiest for you. The earplugs seem to work pretty well though. So now you want to pour your BBs or sand or whatever you're using, pour it into the tank. Alright, I got maybe 3,000 BBs in there. Um, next thing to do is add some water. You don't need a ton of water um, or vinegar or whatever you're using. And of course I don't have a heated garage so half the water in here is frozen. So I'll scrounge up what I can. And obviously, you know, if you're planning ahead, you'll have warm water or whatever. <clears throat> then you can close it up. Make sure your holes are plugged. And now this is the easy part. You just grab it and shake it like crazy. And it's gonna take a while. Made a mess. All right, so I shook it for a good 15 minutes or so. Um, it looks a lot better, but it still needs a lot more work. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, it's gonna need a lot more work. And basically that's all you do, you shake it up, make sure you get all the rust out of there. If the rust is really bad and you just can't get all of it out, you wanna use a gas tank sealer. Um, I know POR15 makes a really good uh, 
gas tank sealer. And basically what you do with that is, after this obviously you rinse it out and then you know use shop air or something and, and get rid of all the water. But you rinse it out real nice and then you take that POR or whatever type of gas tank sealer you decide to use, pour it in and then you just move the tank around and make sure the whole inside gets coated and then you wait a good 24 hours or so and uh, and then it's ready to ready to use. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside of this and then I'll keep working on it. So this is only after shaking it for about 15 minutes or so and you can tell that it's way better than it was. Um, there's still obviously a lot of rust in there and this is going to be one of the ones that I'm going to have to seal. But before you seal it you still want to do this and make sure you get all of the loose rust out of there. So yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, that should be about it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, comment them down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next week.